So I'm going to tell you a couple of things right now that's fixing to really get test your ability to believe. A while back, I'd say probably it's been under a year. There was this uh, this plague that came through. It's called Sarampio Negro. It came through, it swept through a village. Lots of villages, lots of people died. Thousands and thousands of Indians are dying. It's a plague. It's a demon. Our father is work out our mission church one of them it's uh, way out there several hour hike from uh, one of the one of our strong churches Chico Namel well way on out there about eight or nine hours there's another work out there hiking through the woods and this lady uh, she's she's a widow and uh, she got a few kids and she's alone there with the gospel and this gospel's all over her, and uh, San Rampion Negro comes, and uh, I mean, here we got a widow, and, and we got children, and you'd figure God would surely protect her. Well, San Rampion Negro swept through, and it killed two of her teenage daughters. All right, she doesn't have any help. The place is overwhelmed because of so many people dying with this disease. She went to the town council for help, the village, and they said, we're sorry. There's so many deaths. We cannot dig the holes fast enough. You're going to have to take care of yourself and just put them in a line, and we'll get to your daughters whenever we get the holes done. You got a lady, a little grandma lady, getting the big grandma lady, that she has to take her dead daughters tie a rope around them and put them around her and drag them to where the line is of the dead. So she drags those baby girls, those teenage daughters for hers, to the line up to be buried. It took her all day to do that. She drug them over there. I'm talking about her own flesh and blood. She's alone. She brought her daughters over there. Then there was no one to help her, so she had to go get a sack of cow, lime. The jungle is unforgiving, and, and, and one of the ways they try to curtail this, these that spread these diseases, is they they cover things with lime. It kills disease, and so forth and so on. And so she's got her daughters laying there, so she had to go get one of those uh, 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 forty-five kilo bags of, of lime and carry it on her back back to where the daughters was she had to slice that thing open and then cover her daughters in line that took her all day to do that i can feel I can feel it. It's like it's good. I can feel it. It's all over me. I like it. Man. <laughs> so the first day is gone. The second day. She takes off hiking at daylight by herself. Her daughters are dead. She hikes through the jungle to our first church, Chiconamel. She gets to Chiconamel. What does she find? She finds the pastors and the elders together in the middle of an extended fast. <laughs> she don't find them down at the Oster bar eating 14 ounce steaks. She don't find them at the five-star Hilton. Jesus! That's where she finds him. At the altar of God Almighty. I like it. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> she hiked nine hours 
by herself through those woods and over those mountains to get to what the only help she knew to go to, thanks be to God forevermore, she went to Jesus, and the purpose for Jesus being alive is to destroy the works of the devil. And premature death is a work of the devil. And it must be destroyed then, right? <laughs> Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 Jesus <laughs> your name is like honey <laughs> oh my lips I love you. you you're pretty awesome <laughs> Yahoo! and so the pastor the wives asked her could she wait now Let's move that scenario to an American situation. You come to me and I say to you, wait, you kill me. But our people trust the man of God. Because they have to. There's no one else to turn to. And so the ladies, the pastor's wives, attended to her and asked her, could she please wait until dark? And so they waited, and hours later, the pastor came out and found out what was going on. He said, we will go in the morning. Because tonight, we will pray all night. <laughs> There's something more important than death and life. It's the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For our Lord God Almighty. in the morning the pastors come out of their little room they get their wives and they go with her and they hike another nine hours this is the third day did you hear what I just said to you okay they get to the situation and they find that the, the daughters are very near to be buried now but they're not buried yet. They're right on it. The head pastor, the associate pastor, each one of them straddled one of those girls covered in lime and decayed bodies. They straddle them. And they call them by name. And both of those girls stand up, raised from the dead.
Sarampio Negro was defeated. Premature death spirits defeated. Doubt, unbelief destroyed. The name of Jesus exalted.